making it kids we are back again and there is so much to be thankful for isn't there every day i think of so many different things i thank god for the sky i thank god for a new day thank god for my friend pastor rachel so many things to be thankful for so many things and in fact we are going to learn about another group of things or people that we can be thankful for right now so let's get started Hi again, so great to be with you today. I have a question for you. Can anyone tell me what colour Pastor Rachel's hair is in this series? We just saw it a few seconds ago. What colour was it? Here it is. Who guessed right? <laughs> well, do you know, I'm sure you know, Pastor Rachel has had many different colours since we've been doing Connect Kids Online. Can you shout out right now? Right now, shout out as loud as you can. What colour have you seen her hair over the last few years? Shout it out. <laughs> so many colours. Let's have a look. A little bit of a trip down memory lane. We've got this colour, that colour, that colour, that colour. <laughs> so many colours and it's been so fun. I hope it's been a big surprise for you every time you've tuned in to Connect Kids Online to see what colour Pastor Rachel's hair is. <laughs> <laughs> but can I tell you something about her hair? It's true nature never changes. What I mean by that is, despite all the different colour changes, if Pastor Rachel was to do nothing to her hair, it would grow back brown and straight. Brown and straight, right? We can do many things to our hair. You might have as well. You might have cut your hair, you've had it long, you've had it short. You've dyed it, you've tied it up in pigtails, you've plaited it. We can change how it looks, we can do all sorts of things to it, but at the end of the day, the true nature of it never changes. Brown and straight. My hair is also brown and straight, though I do have a few, few glistening greys coming through. <laughs> that is like our families. They never change. We will always have the same family and family members. And can I tell you, families are a gift from the Lord. Families are beautiful. They are there to provide love and support to us. And I'm sure you can think of at least one family member who just really lights up your world. We need to be thankful for our families. And that is our main point, our bottom line, our what you got to know today. Be thankful for your family. Can you say that with me? Be thankful for your family. Bye. See ya. Hi, Connect Kids. Back with another story for you today. And this one is a little bit of a doozy. We're talking about being thankful for family. And, you know, families are complicated, sometimes messy, but they are the places that we grow and learn who we are. And within that... They're, there's something special about families. You know, as you get older, you might already know, friends come and they go. We make really good friends and then they move or we move or we go to a different school or we finish primary and go to high school and we don't see them anymore. And so lots of times we have friends just for a season. And they are wonderful in that time and we talked last week about being thankful for them. But you know the wonderful thing about family is family is there. <laughs> the family you were born with, that's the family that you will have until you're no longer here. That's what family is. And because we live with family and because we see them all the time, sometimes it's really easy to list off all the things that are annoying and all the things that drive you crazy and all the ways they frustrate you. This week though, we want to focus on all the reasons we can be thankful. Our story today comes from Genesis and we're looking at the story of Joseph. And you might remember, because we've done his story before, that Joseph had lots of brothers and one day his brothers got so jealous of him, they sold him to be a slave. And Joseph went on a big journey where things seemed to just get worse and worse and worse until one day he ended up becoming second to the king. He was in charge of the whole kingdom. And God used him to save 
not just the Egyptians, but to save his family and those people as well. It's a pretty amazing story if you haven't read it. But you know, later on in the story, Joseph's dad died. And at that point, Joseph's brothers suddenly got really worried because they knew, they knew the horrible thing that they'd done to Joseph and what had happened to him after. They knew the impact they'd had. And they suddenly thought, oh no, maybe he was just pretending to be kind to us to make dad happy. Maybe this has just all been pretend and he's just been waiting for this moment and now he's going to kill us. And they humbly, humbly like went before Joseph. And you know, in that moment, Joseph had a choice. He could have held on to that and held on to all those reasons that his family annoyed him. But in that moment, he went, no, no, no. You know what? What you did was bad. But God took that bad and he used it for good. God took that bad thing you did and he used it to save hundreds of thousands of people. So no, I don't hold any grudge against you. And they were able to celebrate as a family and they had a meal and it was just wonderful. And it's such a great example of forgiveness. I don't know if I was Joseph, if I would have been able to forgive like he did. How amazing. And I'm sure in that space, his brothers felt very, very thankful to him for that forgiveness. And you know, maybe your family hasn't done what Joseph's brothers have done. In fact, I'm pretty sure they haven't. I don't think any of us have been sold in slavery. But our family does do things that annoy us, probably every day. And my challenge to you this week, this is my first challenge. This week, look for the good things about your family. Look and see the things that you can be thankful for, the things that do make your heart happy. It might be the way your brother laughs when he watches his favourite TV show. Or it might be the way mum heats up your Nutella sandwich in the morning for breakfast. Or it might be a myriad of things that the people that you live with, your family do. So first challenge, focus on that this week instead of the things that annoy you. When you start to get a bit annoyed, think, "Uh uh-uh, I want to see the good. First thing, see the good in your family this week. My second challenge, my second point is, why don't you go on a random acts of kindness or a random acts of thankfulness spree this week? Look around your family, pick one family member maybe, maybe you might pick two, maybe you might pick the whole family and think, what can I do this week that's going to show them how thankful I am for them? And my challenge is, think outside writing a letter. Letters are great, and if that's what you want to do, go for it. But I know, Connect Kids, you are creative, and I know, I know, you can come up with some better ideas than that. So why don't you be creative and think of how you can show your family members how thankful you are for them. Our families are really special and they come in all shapes and makeups and differences and their summer families are loud and boisterous and rough and summer families are quiet and calm. That's not my family. But they are all wonderful and we have so much to learn and grow in our family. No matter what, why don't we pray? Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you for family. We thank you that you have a plan for our families. Lord, I pray that you would help us this week to see the things that we can be thankful for in our families. Lord, to not focus on the annoyances, but to focus on the good things that are parts of our family and help us, Lord, to show those around us how thankful we are for them. We pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. Well, Good luck with your challenges. Make sure you send us some photos if you do something creative. We'd love to see them and I'll see you next time. Hi, Kids.
This is Victoria. And that's Steven. This is the memory verse of the week. So, the memory verse is 1 Thessalonians chapter 5, verse 18. Let's read it. Be thankful in all circumstances. This is what God wants from you in your life. In union with Christ Jesus. Have a great day. Hey, Can I care this? See you soon. Bye. 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 Well, isn't thankfulness such an important thing for us to do? I know we've learnt a great lesson today and I want to remind you to do your challenge this week. And in fact, if you do, why don't you send us a photo? Send us a photo of what you've made, what you're sending, how you are showing thankfulness to those around you this week. What a good idea. I know I'm going to do that. So can't wait to see how you guys express thankfulness this week. And don't forget at Connect Kids to be kind. The Lord is with you wherever you go and wash, wash your hands. hands. Bye. <laughs> Bye.